Shalom Merbays! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new here, my name is Mermaid Zelda slash MZ or whatever you want to call me, and I make new videos here on my channel every single Friday-ish. Don't forget to subscribe down below and click the bell icon so that you never miss one of my uploads. How are you doing today? You are looking absolutely amazing today. I see you. I see you. So today I am going to be making a video that one person requested one time uh, about one year ago. And that is my mermaid jewelry slash accessory collection. Over the years I have acquired, you know, copious amounts of mermaid jewelry, mermaid accessories, both for swimming and not for swimming. So we're talking necklaces, rings, hair accessories, bracelets, the whole shebang really, and I'm just gonna show it all off to you. This collection has been growing since I was about 12 or 13 years old. I did not acquire it, you know, all at once. Some things I purchased myself and some things were gifted to me. So I'm going to be using my new blue screen to like film the jewelry and then I'm gonna put myself in the corner and see how it works. I don't know, we're trying something new today in my new office studio space which I'm very excited about. So hopefully it turns out well. I thought I would do the intro here, um, you know, for now. But now, without any further ado, let's get into my mermaid jewelry accessory collection. Here we go. Okay, so here we have all of my mermaid accessories together in one place. So we've got some crowns and tiaras. We have some scale bracers. I've got swimmable mermaid necklaces. I have some not swimmable mermaid necklaces. That's the H2O locket right there. I've got some rings and some earrings and also I've got some Mickey Mouse ears and goggles. So I'm just going to give you some close-up shots of some of my favorite pieces, show you what they look like on, and just give you my thoughts. I'll also let you know where each one of these items is from. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my swimmable mermaid necklaces. And this first one is my custom-made sand dollar necklace by Ripple's Relics. So I absolutely love this one. It's very pastel rainbow. It's also like quite wearable for real life as well, which is nice. And you can also order your own custom necklace to match your colors. So definitely check that out. I will put it in the link below. My girl Ripple, she's super amazing and kind and she makes beautiful necklaces. So this is the first swimmable mermaid necklace. Next up, I have this beautiful Nautilus shell pastel rainbow necklace made by formerly known as Morgana's Magic, and now she goes by Bringer of Chaos. She is doing more kind of witchcraft things over there. I don't believe she is making custom necklaces anymore, which is too bad because I am obsessed with this necklace. It actually didn't get tangled in my hair when I swam with it, which I am like, pfft. How, um, but yeah, this one is super pretty, super glittery. I love all the little crystals, and yeah, this is just a gorgeous necklace, and I love it so so much. Next up for necklaces, I have some Moana inspired ones. So this was from Spirit of Halloween. I think it was only like fifteen dollars, and I just knew I had to snag it while I was doing some Halloween shopping. I've had this for probably two or three years now and I have swam in it and it works perfectly. It has not gotten faded or damaged from swimming. So it was a really, really good find. If you want one, check out, you know, Spirit of Halloween at Halloween time. And it's, it's really cute. I like it a lot. It's a neat little Easter egg for kids as well. They're like, whoa, that's like Milana's necklace. And you're like, yeah, we're best friends. She let me borrow it or whatever you want to say. But yeah, this one is super cute. It's just plastic beads. And then this is a metal sort of shell that they've got going on here. 
Next up, I have this real abalone shell necklace. It is sort of another Moana necklace. It's that same type of shell that she wears. I just got this at like an Asian night market. It's called the Richmond Night Market and it was just a vendor. She was selling jewelry. And again, this was not very expensive. I think it was like 15, maybe 20, maybe $30. Um, I was like, yeah, that's beautiful. It works really great for dry land mermaid photos shoots. I wore this one for my bathtub photos, if you remember. I have swum with this one as well, but the problem is it's actually hollow in here. So the shell floats if you try to swim with it, or if I try to swim with it, which is too bad. So it's not a very good swimming necklace, but it's definitely good for dry land. And I think it was a really great find. I like this one a lot. Moving on to some swimmable mermaid crowns, I have my Octavia Circlet by Finfolk Productions. I have never actually really worn this thing. It's a little bit big and I don't think it like looks that great on me. I also don't know how I would ever keep it on um, for swimming, but I think this would be good for like a dry land rainbow mermaid photo shoot. So this one is made out of silicone. It's got this like fabric string to tie around your head. And yeah, so this is the Octavia Circlet by Finfolk Productions. Then I have my Organic Armor Circlet. Hopefully the color of this gem isn't gonna mess with my blue screen. Um, but this is made of some type of rubber with a crystal gem. It has a tie back. Um, and it goes, you know, I can't really put it on right now because of my hairstyle, but it goes like this. I have swam with this a couple of times. Um, I haven't done it very successfully to get it to stay on for a whole entire swim, but I got this like three or four years ago now and it's super pretty. And again, it's really good for dry land things as well. It's kind of Sailor Mooney in a way, like it's kind of that shape, but yeah, I like this one a lot. Next up for crowns is this just cheapy mermaid crown that I got from Spirit of Halloween. I have used it for a couple of photo shoots and like video calls with kids. Um, but yeah, it just goes like this. It's just like a pretty regular looking tiara. These are just plastic shells. They're kind of iridescent though. They're really pretty and it's made of metal. It's got some fake little gems and crystals. It was only like 25 bucks or something like that. So I think it was a good purchase. I like this one. Again, I don't think I would swim with this, but it is good for dry land. And my newest crown is from Star Stuff Boutique. I believe she is actually closing down, which is too bad. She still has some things available on her Etsy. So I will put that down below. My friend Orange County Mermaid gave me this one for a secret Santa present. I really love it. I used it for my Elsa photo shoot. I have not tried to swim with this yet. I've only had it for a couple months, but I'll definitely be using it more. And I really, really like it. I love the crystals. I love the colors. They are just super pretty. Last up for crowns, I have this little hair comb that I got from Finfolk Productions as a little makeup gift after they sort of fudged up my gold mythic tail. If you haven't already seen that video, they sent the tail without fins and then I got stabbed by a sewing pin. I'll put that video up here in a card if you wanna check it out. But this is made out of silicone. It has some little crystals along the edges and I don't really know how I'm gonna wear this. I think I'll have to do a sort of half up do, half down do, and then like stick it in the back like that. Um, I think that's kind of the only way that this is going to work. I have tried to play around with it a little bit, but not extensively. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty. It's very shiny and gold and it matches my gold mythic tail. But yeah, I haven't really had a chance to wear this yet. Um, I'm not very good at hairstyles as you can kind of see, but um, maybe one day we'll get it to work. Next up, I'm going to show off my bracers. So these are by Mirbella's Studios. They are made out of silicone. I've got this one, which is like a color shifting green and kind of red burgundy color. This one is color shifting blue and purple. And as you can see, they fit my wrists very well. This one is the most color shifting for sure. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, I like it a lot. I also have these two, which are a set. 
Um, but unfortunately, they don't fit me as well. As you can see, they don't sit on my wrists. They kind of have to sit back here. If I ever swim with my friend Ethan, I always let him borrow them because they fit his wrists much better than mine. But they're super pretty. They, um, they're all color shifting. These ones are sort of silvery blue, kind of almost rainbow iridescent a little bit. So yeah, those are all of my scale bracers. I definitely need to get a pair from uh, Shop Vancouver Mermaid soon, and hopefully I will be doing that, but these are all of my scale bracers. This next necklace is actually super special to me because it was made by Natalia Taylor. After I gave her her Ripples Relic sand dollar necklace, she showed this to me. Um, she told me that she found this shell while she was out swimming in the ocean and she attached this little, I think it's a freshwater pearl, I'm not too sure. It might just be a little fake one as well, but it looks beautiful and she said she made it, but it didn't really feel like it belonged to her, but she felt like it belonged to me and that was so sweet. Like I wasn't, we didn't plan to do a necklace trade, but we did and it's just really special to me. I like to wear this one kind of on the day to day. I wouldn't swim with this just because I don't know um, how it would do in the water and I wanna keep it you know, nice and preserved forever and ever. But I love this one so much. I would definitely use this for a dry land mermaid photo shoot or gig and also just on the daily because it's very wearable. It's very cute and I love it. I love that she found the shell. And it's just super special. I love it. Okay, this next necklace, you might recognize it. It's definitely a staple for any H2O lover out there. It is a replica of the H2O locket that Cleo, Ricky, and Emma all have. So it's got the little waves on the back. It does open up. I got this years ago when I first got into mermaiding. Um, I believe I got this when I was 12 or 13. I just found the seller online, I wanna say on eBay or something like that. So I actually have no idea who the maker is, unfortunately. Um, but I used to wear this all the time in high school and just on the day-to-day -day life, I just wore this around town. I haven't worn it so much lately, but it is really pretty and special. Now I've got my favorite non-swimmable necklaces that my mom actually got for me. So she got me this one only like less than a week ago. Uh, the day before International Mermaid Day, which was just a coincidence, but it's a beautiful little shell pendant made out of mother of pearl. I am going to be wearing this like every day now. This will be my daily necklace. I love this necklace so, so much. My mom also gave me this little silver mermaid pendant. It's just a mermaid hanging out. I used to wear this one every single day and I still wear it occasionally. So thanks mom for these. They're so pretty and they add mermaid magic to my everyday life. Another gift from my parents is this gorgeous mermaid inspired Pandora bracelet that they gave me for my 19th birthday. 19 is kind of a big deal in Canada because that's when you can drink legally. So it was a big deal. I absolutely love this bracelet. It has a cute little aerial charm and then a little seashell with a starfish. And it's just, it like looks so good. I think they said they saw it in a shop window just put together like that. And they knew that it would be a perfect birthday present for me, so I love this so much. I wouldn't swim in this because obviously I don't want it to be like damaged or get rusty or anything like that, but this is definitely uh, my favorite bracelet that I own. I'm not a huge bracelet person, but this one I love. I also have this beautiful pearl necklace that was left to me from my late grandmother. So they're all real pearls, a string of pearls. Again, I obviously wouldn't swim in this, but it is super pretty and I do like to use it for dry mermaid things every now and then. It's super special to me. My grandmother and I were very close. So I like to wear this necklace and think about her. I thought it was a good one to mention as well. 
And we can't forget about mermaid rings. So I have two mermaid rings. One was gifted to me from the company Julia Jewelry, like in 2019, I believe. It is super, super pretty, but I'm not very good at showing it off on camera because I just, I can't get it to focus. I need a better camera for that. But it actually has a mermaid on the ring. It's got a big blue crystal and then little white crystals. The mermaid has a little gold shell bra. Like it's, it's so cute. It's so pretty. I was so stoked to be gifted this. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite rings for sure. And then the other ring I got in Hawaii on my latest trip there with my boyfriend. We picked out the oyster and that is the pearl we got. It's like a little bit pink-ish. If you watched my Hawaii travel vlog back then, then you actually got to see us open up the pearl and get the ring and stuff. So it's super special. It's like got that memory of Hawaii attached to it. It's a real pearl and I just really, really like it. And lastly, I'm just gonna show you this pair of real starfish earrings. You can't swim in these because if they went in the water, they would turn into soup, which is kind of gross. Um, but they are good for dry land photos or a gig. I don't wear them too much because I have sensitive ears and they bother me, but they're pretty cool, like, right? Aren't those awesome? So that is all of the mermaid jewelry that I will be showing you close ups for today. I'm running out of memory here, but I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my mermaid jewelry and getting to see a close up of some of the accessories and jewelry pieces. Well, my mermaids, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me show off all of my mermaid accessories that I've, you know, acquired over the years. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below your favorite piece of mermaid jewelry or accessory or whatever it is. Let me know. Let me know your least favorite too if you want. Why not? Make it spicy. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at mermaidzelda and at emma.forth. You can also follow me on TikTok at mermaidzelda as well. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic weekend, and most importantly, I hope I will see you here next fish for a brand new video. Until next time, bye!